Here we are in section 3-3 with exercises 37 through 42. We're going to be writing equations of lines, just like we did in the early part of this section, except now it's going to give us some things about parallel and perpendicular. So to remind ourselves, all we really need is the slope, and we need a point, x1, y1. Once we have that, we stick it in. y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Now, as a reminder, there is there are other ways to do it. The whole x, ax plus by equals c if we wanted to do standard form. Uh, so we'll refer to this one, but it, it's not necessary for you to follow that to understand the problem. So we're going to use the no-think point-slope form to stick in equations of lines. And then we'll draw connections to standard form if that's helpful to you. So the first one, number 37. Notice that it's parallel to this. So to parallel, we need, oh, what's this slope? The slope is negative 2 thirds. Parallel means we're going to use that same slope. So we have slope of negative 2 thirds and goes through this point. That's what we need to do. We've done this before. Slope, negative 2 thirds. We'll put that in here. Let's write it down. y minus y1 equals slope, negative 2 thirds, x minus a uh, negative 6, so x plus 6. Okay, let's simplify it. We get negative 2 thirds x minus 4. Get y by itself, add 3 to both sides, and we get y equals this, which is y equals negative 2 thirds x um, minus 1. Now, we should note you could have done, this is where we'll bring in standard form, if you had wanted to, you could have said, hey, we need to keep the same slope, so that means the 2x plus the 3y will remain exactly the same. It just goes through a different point. It won't be a 7 over here. It needs to go through negative 6, 3. So that's 2 times negative 6 is 12, plus 3 times 3 is 9. Uh, negative 12 plus 9 is a negative 3. So either one of these is a sufficient answer. Uh, this is one that, that if you have questions, this is probably the safest way to do it. But standard form shortcut, that is also valid. All right, the next one, number 38. Parallel to, that means we're going to use this same exact slope again. Slope is a negative 3 fourths. So let's stick it in. y minus y1, so that's y plus 2, equals negative 3 fourths x minus 5. Distribute this so we can simplify it. We get negative 3 fourths x plus 15 fourths. Uh, subtract 2 from both sides, so the y is now by itself, and we get y equals negative 3 fourths x. Let me see, 15 fourths minus 8 fourths. Common denominator gives you plus 7 fourths. Um, yeah, and notice that the y equals negative 3 fourths x is going to be the exact same. That's how you can tell that these two lines are parallel. And if you wanted to, you could have done the standard form and had 3x plus 4y, and then you would have gotten 7, I believe, that number right there. Okay, 39. Let's do perpend oh, perpendicular. So when we pull out this slope, slope equals 5 halves, just like off the slope monster, 5 halves, we don't want that slope. We want perpendicular to it, which is the slope is negative 2 fifths. That's what we want. We don't want that guy. And that 77 didn't help us at all. So this is going to be y minus y1, so y plus 6, equals slope negative 2 fifths uh, x minus a negative 2 x minus x1. All right, let's simplify it. Jump that in. We get negative 2 fifths x minus 4 fifths. And... Uh, Subtract 6 from both sides to get the y by itself. So write it out pretty like y equals negative 2 fifths x, uh, negative 4 fifths minus 30 fifths. That's minus 34 fifths with a common denominator. And note what would have happened if we would have used the standard form. We would have had uh, this would have translated to 2x plus 5y equals. And these two, notice the x and the y coefficients switch places, and the sign in the middle is different. That's the negative reciprocal coming out. 
So you have 2x plus 5y equals, stick that in, you get negative 4 minus 30 equals a negative 34. So either one of these would be a perfectly acceptable way of writing the equation of the line. Next one, uh, number 40, perpendicular to, so that means we don't want 5 sevenths, we want the slope to be uh, negative 7 fifths. Good, there's our slope and here's our point. y minus y1 equals negative 7 fifths x minus the x value. Oh, I kind of covered that up with my, my drawing there. So let's simplify it and we get negative 7 fifths x plus 49 fifths. Uh, add the 1 over and that will allow y to be by itself. So we get in y equals mx plus b format. Looks all pretty like 4 fifths plus 1 is 5 fifths. So that's plus 54 fifths. Oh yeah, look at that. That's great. And if you wanted to do ax plus by equals c, you would have done, let me see, negative. So that's 7x plus 5y equals, stick in 7 and 1, and you get the 54. So that could have been an option for you as well. Great. Uh, number 41, perpendicular to x plus 6y equals negative 2. So this slope is negative one-sixth. We don't want it, we want a perpendicular slope, not the slope that was given to us. So we will use slope of negative reciprocal six over one. So that gets us y minus y1, so that's a y plus six, equals m times x minus four. Oh, why did I write the m? I've got the m right over here, it's a six. Yeah, there we go, x minus four. Distribute, and we get 6x minus 24. Subtract the 6 from both sides, so y is by itself, and we get y equals 6x minus 30. And yes, uh, you could have done this in standard form as well. That slope would be a 6x minus a y, and then stick in 4 and negative 6, and you get a positive 30 there. So either way is great. That'll be the standard way, the, the uniform way that we've, we've practiced the most. Okay, and the last one. Notice, before we do this one, that we really, um, once you snag the slope out of that initial line, you really toss away that initial problem. Like, the 77 didn't even help it. We got the two, 5 halves, made it a negative 2 fifths, and totally forgot about that and just went slope and point. And that's really the key to this. So parallel to that, so slope is 1 sixth, uh, negative 1 sixth, just like it was over here. And, uh, oh, we have a slope and a point now, parallel, because we want to use this same slope for the line we're creating. So y minus y1 equals negative 1 sixth x minus the x value, the x value of the point that we're going through. Uh, distribute and let's simplify negative one sixth x plus five sixths. Uh, add one to get y by itself. Y equals negative one sixth x five sixths plus six sixths is eleven sixths. Excellent. And let's just to round everything out, put this in standard form. That would be x plus 6y equals something. And notice that this and that will look exactly the same to make sure you have the same slope. So now we stick the point 5 here and the 1 here and see what number pops out. 5 plus 6 is 11. So if you did the standard form shortcut, that would also be an acceptable way of writing the answer. These two are exactly the same line. Excellent.